Hi, welcome to Lancaster Hi-Fi. Been working on some videos that just aren't done yet. And so I wanted to do just a short unboxing video today because I got a box in the mail. So I got some other stuff going here, as you can tell, but I got this in the mail today. Well, UPS. Time to see what's inside. Jeez, how do we get into this thing? I had ordered these some time ago, and then I contacted the company, because I hadn't heard, like, that they'd shipped or anything. We had a chat online, one of these online chat, ask questions, you know, status kind of stuff possible. Hmm. And I managed to finally find, you know, the correct numbers to give them to figure it out. And they're like, it went silent for a bit, and then finally the answer was, yes, your order is ready for shipping. But I suspect that... My order was not ready for shipping until I contacted them and asked about it. Because uh, some of the questions were, you wanted this, right? Yes, I wanted that. Now, what you can't tell is just how heavy this package is. And how heavy this package let is Oof, nasty smell. There we go. That's an output transformer. It's from China. And um, it's rated at like 40 watts. I plan to use it on a 10 to 12 watt amp, although with some modifications to the circuit I might be able to get it up to 17 watts. Um, yeah, so it's built to go with the L84s, the so right uh, impedance and all that, and with, um, I don't know why it's got 4 ohm taps, anyway. Supposed to have ultra linear taps over here, so yeah. I've got two of them, of course. So this is my Beaver Valley amp, and it has the Z565 Dynaco transformers on it. And I'm curious to see how they compare in size to the ones I just got. So, so thicker laminations and ever so slightly taller so indeed they are slightly bigger than the Dynacos. Now size doesn't equal quality but size is essentially necessary for a certain quality. So I'm optimistic that these will be good and hey what if they're even as good as the Dynacos? Wouldn't that be something? Now, it's hard to find much out about these online. These are from iWistow. They sell transformers, they sell amps. I have a feeling that a lot of people may use these but not admit to using them. You know, there's no branding on them. I've used iWistow transformers on couple of my DGSE1 builds and they are they're fine they're good if anything they boost the base a little bit so I'll be real interested to see how these do It'd be really pretty cool if they were as good as those Dynacos maybe even better because generally the Dynacos are hard to come by these days and can get pretty expensive they've generally been going for like 250 plus on eBay, although recently a pair went for just under 150. 
and I missed I missed the end of the auction. I could have gotten those perhaps. I don't know what the maximum bid was. Right, you know, like if I'd bid more than 150, it's likely that somebody's maximum bid would have pushed it up further. But dang man. Anyway, so I'm really hoping these are awesome. Because if they are really awesome, then that's the supply of these transformers for amps like this. And that's a good thing. All the shipping's a beast from China. Roughly speaking, these are 50 bucks each, and shipping's another 50 bucks. Friggin' heavy. Well, there you go. I plan to use the transformers on the chassis that came out of the Packard Bell console. And I've done a couple of videos on that Packard Bell console, or at least one. <laughs> yeah, so this new amplifier, it's an EL84 amplifier, and it will be another Beaver Valley. Beaver Valley, very nice amp. So nice that I couldn't put it up for sale. So I want to see, can I make one just as good with these Chinese transformers? So stay tuned. Find out. Have a good one, y'all.